Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So today's video, I had fun with this one only because I was trying to use at least every sheet in the 48 sheet uh, paper pad. And I realized that the one sheet I hadn't used was the music notes. So for this particular one, I'm going to go ahead and use the music notes for our base paper. And bear with me because I'm trying to, um, on some of my um, videos, I had a new uh, light that I gotten and some of the papers are brighter because it's really, um, for some reason it was hitting those particular sheets um, with a little bit of a more intensity so just please bear with me the base is four and an eighth by uh, five and three eighths and then the pattern paper on top of course is four by five and a quarter and then I took the measurement of the small square piece that was on um, the sketch in the beginning, which you can always go back and pause to get your measurements. And I just gave it an eighth of an inch border. And for this one, I did use black, even though the paper itself is black, but I, I wanted it that way. Um, I didn't necessarily need it to have an outline. And then I took the foiled uh, deer paper and cut the strip and added the um, basically a mat to that as well but what I did was I made it the same length and gave the eighth of an inch just above and below uh, my strip of paper and then we're just going to attach that of course still using the ATG and the art glitter glue and I like to use the mat to kind of line up and I don't really like freak out when stuff like that happens because the art glitter glue dries clear anyway. And there's another piece that's going to go on top of what we just really put down. So you'll see that here in a second. So now that I'm mostly put together, I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the card base, making sure that it's doing the right uh, card opening for me. And I'm just trying to make it even. I actually wound up getting um, this paper cut at, I want to say it was Staples. So that way it would already be pre-cut. But sometimes I see that they've um, it's cut kind of uneven. So I was having a little trouble trying to get my border to go around it and look neat. Um, but I'm still going to use it and I'm still going to fill it out and give it to somebody at work and say Merry Christmas. <laughs> Enjoy my homemade card. All right. So on the focal image, I'm using the poinsettias again. But this time I decided to use some foam tape. And this is one that I did get from Amazon. And it's not like the red lining tape. It actually is pretty decent at pulling off. Yeah, like red line tape, it takes me, it feels like three hours to get that backing off. So I think that one went pretty well. And we're just going to post that, stick it right there on top. And with this one, I'm trying to zoom in here because I had decided that I wanted to do the silver. And if you've ever used Nouveau Drops, the silver glittery ones, they, I don't know, they have a different texture, a different feel. And I found that when putting it on, like, they're, they stay in the shape that it's creating, unlike some of the other ones where they kind of flatten in time. But I'm just spreading them around, adding a couple of dots here and there. And each one I've done differently. On a couple of them, I did um, the center dots like we did on the one uh, for, I think it was yesterday. Um... Just a little something to add a little bit of uh, design to it. And then I'm going to grab the other two I did off camera. So on this one, I just did the three dots and then inside the poinsettia and a few on the outside. 
and then I'm trying to grab it without messing up the Nouveau drops and then this is the other one I did so you can see the centers and then the same thing with this one so thank you guys so much for joining me today I'm trying to have uh, some close-ups here at the end and like I said um, on the especially the background paper um, with the lights I know um, it's probably going to be brighter at times um, sometimes it does that because of the foil um, that I'm using with this particular paper collection um, but you know I'm trying to make things brighter and better and it's a work in progress <laughs> so thank you guys for joining me on this crazy journey I don't believe this is number nine no this one is ten nine was yesterday so we're just that much closer to Christmas and I can't believe it and I'm not ready I'm not ready <laughs> all right you guys I hope you have a great weekend